Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to the channel, I'm a digital analytics consultant and if you're working on anything about Adobe Marketing Cloud or Tag Managers or Customer Data Platform, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe. A lot of effort goes into making these videos and a little motivation will be very helpful. So today's topic is how to create custom M boxes in the context of AP Web SDK, right? So how to do manual rendering for custom M boxes with AP Web SDK. So the first step with custom M box is that you need to create a rule in launch Web SDK. It's a send event complete rule as you can see in the screen, right? If you just see the name and then there is events. So the events is Adobe Experience Platform Web SDK Send Event Complete. So this is really important that you need to select the Send Event Complete event here. And then you have the custom code configuration, right? So custom code configuration we will discuss in detail in the upcoming video. But for this right now, you need to understand that first you need to create a rule in the uh, launch web SDK and that rule should have this event called send event complete. So this is the first part of the custom code where we are requesting the scope and then checking for the proposition. So if, as you can see here, the first is that we are using alloy send event, right? Decision scope is just another name for mbox, right? So here the decision scope that we are requesting for is home page and then once we have requested for home page if there is a result then what we are doing is we are running this function here right so what we are doing is we are creating a variable called propositions where we are capturing all the propositions returned by the send event in this uh, propositions variable now we will iterate through this propositions array and then we will see if there is any proposition whose scope matches home page which was the scope that we requested for and if that happens then we are taking that proposition into hero proposition we are allocating that variable hero proposition and we are assigning or whatever whatever matches the scope home page we are assigning that to hero proposition in the next part, we are saying that if hero proposition exists, then we are iterating through that as well. We are iterating through the items of hero proposition. And then if we are checking, we are also checking the schema. Schema is a optional condition, right? And then we are taking the content of the hero proposition items, right? So whatever items uh, this has returned, we will iterate through that and check and take the content content is basically your custom code or whatever you have done inside your activity right for example you have changed the headline so that would be inside the content so we have taken that content inside hero html right so hero html consists of that content so if you said that if you change the headline to version b now version b is uh, hero HTML value will be version B. So now we are here doing the manual rendering of the code and then we are sending a display event. So manual rendering here, hero element is the button that we want to change the headline of. So we have changed the hero elements inner HTML to the hero HTML, which was basically version B or whatever content that we have inside our activity, right? The value of hero HTML will depend on the content of the activity. And so we have changed the inner HTML of hero element with that. So that's the basic part of manual rendering, followed by sending a display event. So the event type is decisioning.proposition display. And then if you look inside the propositions array, you have the activity ID, scope, and scope details. Right? So this is what we have done here. So this is what I wanted to share. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. 
do like share and subscribe happy learning everyone